everyone. Welcome to Market Update Volume 14. My lender friend is not with me today. Um, I will give us an update on the mortgage rate. The rate set another record low last week. And thanks to low mortgage rates throughout the last decade, the portion of income devoted to mortgage payment is almost unchanged from 2010 and 2020. Uh, this has been the good news for the home buyer. The recovery of housing market has been steady since spring. There are some bright spots. New home sales rose to the 2006 level. Uh, 2006 was before the 2008 financial crash and economic downturn. There are more available infantry at the top and especially the two to three million pocket and the five million pocket buyers for these homes usually have professional jobs that are less affected by the covid pandemic and the stock has been doing very well for a lot of investors there's some new development in seal beach in between those two to five million pocket Another topic that received a lot of attention is whether there will be another wave of foreclosure. Uh, the reason why is that around 3.5 million of American homes have entered forbearance programs that allow homeowners either to pause or delay their mortgage payment. However, the number of homes entering forbearance has fallen to the lowest point for the last five months, and the number of mortgage with less risks such as conventional loan uh, that entered forbearance has been falling fallen for 15 consecutive weeks. Uh, the situation is also very different from our last recession in 2008. So the number for forbearance potentially would be far less if there's a, there are a, a wave, it would be a smaller wave. Uh, the reason for that is that homeowners has built significant amount of home equities and the high demand of home buyers will both provide alternatives other than foreclosure. The last topic I want to explore is that what people are thinking about either selling or buying homes, especially with the presidential election approaching. 50% of people think it is a good time to sell and 34% of people think it is a good time to buy. Both numbers are up from the same time last year and 65% of the home buyers and home sellers said the upcoming presidential election will not change their plans. So hope all the information and news here will help you make decisions. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or subscribe my channel.